news with Jeff being named interim head coach. And, and you saw how I discussed the Rooney rule doesn't apply to interim head coaches. Well, yes, I do. I do have an issue with it, but I want to make sure that the world is clear. My issue is with the Rooney rule and the spirit of it, although there's not a violation of it per se because it involves interim status. The spirit of it is to make sure that when you're talking about people getting opportunities to be a head coach in this league, that minority candidates are interviewed and genuinely recognized as candidates for the job, which is something that the NFL teams have been violating since the rules implementation decades ago. Having said all of that, let me say this. Um, I'm torn because of that, but I'm incredibly happy for Jeff Saturday. Jeff Saturday is a friend. Jeff Saturday is a friend of this show and a friend of this network. He is a brilliant football mind. He knows the game of football inside and out. He's passionate. He cares. And he's going to give it all that he's got. And there ain't a person that I think that we find at this network or anywhere around the sport of football who will not root for this guy. I know I'll be, I'll be rooting for him. My issue is with the process that was yeah. not followed, but it's not going to usurp the level of, of joy and affection and well wishes I have for one of the great dudes in our business. I know that today, as much as uh, uh, we love doing the show and as much of a good time as we have doing the show, there's going to be a void in today's show because Jeff Saturday is not here. I'm going to miss him. Um, I got a lot of love for him. Um, I'm the one that reached out to him and asked him to do first take on a weekly basis. And he jumped at the opportunity to do it. And I can't thank him enough. Just like I can't thank you, Mina, you, Keyshawn, and everybody else that can, contributes to this show for the phenomenal job that y'all do every single time y'all appear on it. I, my gratitude knows no limits to y'all. But that includes Jeff Saturday. He's a good man. And he cares, and he had a lot to do with reaching a resolution for the lockout years ago when we saw that famous picture of him hugging Robert Kraft um, and ultimately reaching the collective bargaining uh, agreement years ago. We know how much football means to Jeff Saturday. We wish him nothing but the best, and I don't want that to be confused. That is separate and apart for towards the Colts who didn't necessarily follow the process. They didn't have to because we're talking about an interim coach tag, and we get that. But we also know this is yet the latest mechanism utilized to violate the spirit of the Rooney Rule, which leaves somewhat of a sour taste in the mouths of African Americans in that regard. But again, we certainly shouldn't hold it against the great Jeff Saturday. I'm going to miss him, and I'll be supporting him. No, it, you, you, everything you said is, is on point, uh, Stephen A. I, I would hope that the league goes back and take a look at the Rooney Rule and adjust it to some degree where it now says that you at least have to interview an interim uh, minority coach at that point in time that it becomes available so we don't fall back into this situation again. Another thing that I really truly love in terms of the National Football League is the fact that unlike the past, you all of a sudden have taken two guys one in John Lynch several years ago with zero experience in the front office at all in elevating him up to a general manager level. Eventually, they go to the Super Bowl, playing a couple championship games. He acquires talent. He moves pieces around. And now you do this with Jeff Saturday. I just want to see him do it with some black folk. I want to see him do it with us. Thank Unlike you. Unlike the NBA. The NBA will take a guy that has zero coaching experience, as you know, Stephen A., and move him up and let them be head coach or yeah. a year experience. They don't have to go through this amazing gauntlet of all this unnecessary stuff to become a coach. And for many years, people have always asked me, hey, man, why don't you get into coaching? Hey, man, why don't you get into front office? Because I'm not looking to start at the bottom to go all the way up to the top. I'm not looking to do that because I believe I know enough to just come right in because you give other people those opportunities and chances. Yes, you do. So I certainly would have loved to have seen Reggie Wayne get the opportunity. He's on the staff. It didn't happen, but it doesn't mean that people won't start to think this way opposed to the old way of thinking. So um, I have a lot of thoughts on this. Watching the press conference, I'll start here. Setting aside the GM and the coach, if I was a Colts fan, 
I'd be the most upset watching my owner, Jim Ursay, because I thought he came across as totally illogical and impulsive in his thinking. And when you think about the future of this organization, I don't think he's put them in a good position to succeed. Now, as far as coach goes, uh, you know, one thing I've learned from talking about head coaching hires is it's basically impossible to predict who's going to be good at it. Uh, I actually tend to think we underrate leadership and management abilities in favor of, you know, finding the next great offensive play caller. And as many people on our network has said, Jeff Saturday has those qualities in spades, as well as open-mindedness. Just speaking from experience, him talking to me, he is uh, one of the most open-minded people I've worked with. That said, uh, as somebody who's been pretty outspoken in the past about the lack of diversity in NFL amongst the coaching ranks, I would be hypocritical to not point out that the process, as Stephen A. said, that led to this hire is a pretty good example of why that lack of a diversity exists in the first place. And frankly, why the Rooney rule is ineffective even when it is deployed. Because, you know, there's something called the network effect where people in positions of power tend to hire based on relationships. And when that happens, you tend to get people who look like those people. And I think it's pretty obvious that this is a pretty good example of that. And that's not to say that Jeff isn't going to crush it. We're talking about the process. We're talking about Jim Irsay. And we're talking about a phenomena that, setting aside Jeff Saturday, we see happen too often in the NFL, which is these opportunities, as Keyshawn says, do get extended almost exclusively to white coaches or, in Jeff's case, just, you know, friends of the owners and whatnot. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.